Hey everybody, Aaron Hendon with Christine and Company over at Keller Williams. And uh, I, today I wanted to talk to you about, I'm doing some research and some preparation and actually writing my second book, which is called Real Estate Blind Spots, A Peek Inside the Black Box of Residential Real Estate. And uh, I discovered what I think I created an interesting way to point out one of the blind spots that people have about buying and selling their home. And I'd love to get your opinion about it. All right, now, what is one of the blind spots that people have discovered? Well, I love charting things, so I created this chart. Take, check it out, you tell me. Okay, here's the chart. Uh, we have four different points, right? From complex to simple, and from cheap to expensive. All right, so, buying a home, I think everyone would agree, it goes up here in complex and expensive, right? That's home. Right, complex, I've had contracts be 30, 40 pages long, expensive for sure, it's the most expensive thing you buy. Cheap, cheap and simple. What's down here, both cheap and simple? Let's just say that's dinner. Buying dinner is cheap and it's simple. You do it all the time. You'll do it four or 5,000 times in your life. Homes, you're gonna sell three or four times in your life. Cheap, dinner, right? Home, complex, diametrically opposed. Opposite sides of the graph, yes? All right, except here's the, here's the blind spot. People use the same logic to choose where they're gonna eat dinner as they do who's gonna represent them in their home sale. Different places on the graph, same logic. What do I mean? Hey, honey, where do you wanna go eat dinner? I don't know, go check Yelp. Let's find out how many stars they have on Yelp. Yay, let's go to that for dinner. Hey, who are we gonna have sell our house? Oh, let's go to Zillow. How many stars does that guy have next to his name on Zillow? What? That's the same way you just chose where to eat dinner. Or how about this? Wow, my friend says this is a great restaurant. Let's go there. Okay, great. Oh, my friend says this is a great realtor. Let's use her. Okay, what? That's the same. You. Oh, I know. You remember where we got engaged 17 years ago? Let's go there. Okay, for dinner. Yeah, that was great 17 years ago. Oh, remember the person who sold us our house 12 years ago? Let's use them. What? Oh, I know, I know. I see this restaurant every day when I pass it up. I see this guy's signs all the time. That's the same logic. You cannot do that. That's insane. That's a blind spot for people. You're using the same methodology for something that's cheap and simple as you do for something's complex and expensive. No, I think that's a mistake. If it's complex and expensive, it deserves to be thought about differently. Okay, that's why I'm writing the book, Real Estate Blind Spots to give people an opportunity to take a look and examine what do they do that doesn't really make any sense upon examination. I would love to hear what you think about this. So there's two links here in the, in the um, body of this. One is a link to my blog, which is various chapters of the book as I create, create them and you know edit them out. Uh, they're going up on the blog. So you can follow there and sort of follow along with the logic there. And then there's a SurveyMonkey link here and if you have any interest in giving me your opinion about this, or you would like to get, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear more about it because it's actually research for the book. So click on the Survey Monkey link. Uh, I'm giving away a hundred dollar gift card as a raffle for all the entrants on the Survey Monkey. And um, yeah, I would love to hear what you think about this. But I don't. For me, it is a blind spot for people that they use the same methodology to choose where to eat dinner as they do how to buy a home. Love to hear what you think. Let me know how I can help you. Uh, and I appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.